Hey everyone, it's Miss Queen Crypto, and I am back again for another episode of Friday Block Talk, except today's episode is going to be slightly bittersweet. So I'll start off with the sweetness, and that's that we've hit our sixth month birthday, our half birthday, six month anniversary of Friday Block Talk, which is absolutely crazy. It's weird because I feel like I simultaneously just started this, but it's also been part of my life forever. So that's kind of a fun dichotomy to be like dealing with right now. But the bitter part is that we'll be taking a break. Like this is good. We're calling this the end of season one. And so we'll be back. Not exactly sure on when we'll keep you updated on that. But for right now, there won't be weekly videos coming out anymore. I know this one's late and that's because there was some like miscommunication. It's all good though. But yeah, we're doing our little birthday celebration today. Of course, the it's my birthday isn't because it's my birthday, but Friday Block Talk's birthday, which I guess by extension, I'll take the credit for it. But so that's basically it. I'm home. That has nothing to do with it, but just figured, hey, it's a cute backdrop. Why not? Especially if it's the last episode we're going to have for a while. So Today for our finale, I didn't want to get into something like a super technical lesson because I figured that that wasn't going to be like a great way to, to end things for the time being. So I wanted to talk a little bit about like market psychology and just kind of like my overall, like how I've been interpreting a lot of the sentiment from the community recently and my own like journey and sentiment with the markets, especially from someone who comes from like a heavily Bitcoin perspective, learning about like Ethereum merge and everything. So with that, let's get on into it. So even though that like classes have started for me, it's weird because now I'm in upper level engineering classes. So we don't have like eight homework assignments a week anymore. It's like one every other week and then we have our exams and quizzes. So it's a strange, a strange adjustment, adjustment and I have, I have I found myself, myself having, having a lot more free time, free time which, which is, is good and bad and because, because I've never had free time during classes, classes so now I feel like anxious like, like I should, should be doing something but I'm, but I'm not. not. I, don't I don't have anything, have anything to do. So, so I've, I've been, been reading, reading more, more which has been really good. I've been reading more into like neuroscience which is something that I find really interesting and I'm really passionate about but I've also been reading a little bit more into psychology and I've also been watching like videos on YouTube about like philosophy and especially like stoicism, which if you're not super familiar, it's, I would say the general premise is basically like, you can't, the only thing that you have control is how you react. And so it has to do with when faced with uncomfortable situations or unfavorable situations, how you choose to react can change how you like, like perceive, perceive that situation, situation. Like, like something, something is only negative, negative or bad if that's how you react and perceive it like events, events themselves things happening are not necessarily good or bad we just label them that way and so, so if we're, we're able to change, change our thought pattern and, and we aren't, aren't so quick to react and we aren't so emotional in our reactions we will have more control over our life and we will live a better life type of thing and I thought that was an interesting perspective to take on markets because I mean, I mean, when you when look you at a market, you would say that it's, it's not, not like a, a, subjective a subjective experience, like green is good, red is bad, but there's a lot more that goes into play than just that, and I think we all know that by this point. So for me, I think it's a lot more easy for me to be stoic when I'm talking about crypto and when I'm talking about my investments than in my personal life or in my school life even. So, so it's interesting, it's interesting like, like weighing those, those different, different like, like, like like bubbles almost, almost because, because I am able, able to detach from my emotions when I'm buying Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Like if, if I, I recently bought, bought some more Bitcoin, Bitcoin. like I dollar cost, cost average, average, but every once in a while I'll make like a bigger like purchase. purchase. And so, and so recently, recently I bought some Bitcoin, Bitcoin and I was like, like sitting by my, my like, like I was using my phone. I was sitting by my phone and I was waiting for it to go down further, further, further. And I was just like, all right, now. And I did it. And it didn't, didn't go, go through. through. It, was it was something weird about me being on the school Wi-Fi. Wi it wasn't letting me like purchase, purchase it. it. And, and it was at like a good, good like, it, was it was the lowest, lowest I had seen it in like 10, 10 minutes. minutes. So, so I was pretty, pretty upset, upset that, that it didn't, didn't work. work. And, so and so I I tried, I tried again, again, nothing. And then it started going up and I was like, are you kidding me? No, that's so unfortunate. I was there at the right time kind of thing. And I 
eventually figured out that it was probably the school Wi-Fi that was being weird about it, not my phone. And sure enough, once I changed that, everything was fine and I was able to, but I probably got like a couple thousands less of sats, which unfortunate, but it does indeed happen. Can't be too upset about it, and that's because it's just something that happened. Like. I'm not a super big philosophy person, but I do find it interesting to read about and try and apply in your life. And something I found kind of interesting is I was reading this book about procrastination. And because I was procrastinating studying for an exam, and I was like, what's a good way to utilize this time that's not studying for the exam that I'm about to take? So I looked up free books on Apple Books, and I found this one about procrastination, and I was like, Perfect. Perfect, let's, let's figure, figure out, out why. why. And, it and it was really, really, really funny, funny because, because they started talking about time preference, but they, but they didn't call it time preference. Like, like, he described the exact same concept, concept, the whole, like, there are two selves, selves your current your self and your future self, self and, and we, we all should be trying to prioritize and provide for our future self, self but a lot of the time we end up gratifying our present self because, obviously, in the moment, you're more likely to do that, like... It's, it's what, what we, would we would consider more favorable, favorable like, like hedonism and all that. It's, it's we're, just we're just inclined, inclined to do so, so even though we have the functions for higher level thinking and thinking, thinking way, into way into the, the future. future. And so, so first, first of all, I found that hilarious, hilarious that he, that he like, the, the author, author didn't, didn't call it time preference. And so I was wondering if that was like a Bitcoin only term or not, but I don't, I don't think it is. I think it would be weird if man's just totally invented that concept for the Bitcoin standard, but. It was, it was a parallel, a parallel I absolutely, absolutely drew. drew. But, but so, so back, back to, to me buying my Bitcoin. Bitcoin. I, think I think that time, time preference is something that it's, it's a weird, a weird one because it can kind of go either way, way when we're trying, trying to combine, combine that, that thought, thought and like stoicism. Because for me, it's like, like, oh, I want to prioritize my future self. So I'm getting emotional on behalf of my future self, kind of like, oh, but what if like one day when Bitcoin has like 20 x you know, you know, or like, like 100x, 100x. That, 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 that small, small difference is going to be a lot, and I'll be mad, I'll be mad at myself in this moment, moment. And, then and then I took I a step, step back, and I was like, it's really fine, fine. It's, it's really not that deep, deep. You, you still, still, you're, you're doing, doing more, more than, than you would have, have. okay, like, like, what are your options, you just wouldn't have purchased anything, you would have missed your opportunity, and, like, nothing, so I think it's, it's important to forgive yourself, obviously, being mad at yourself, or, like, Beating yourself up over something does not help with anything, and I think that's that's something that, as a community, we need to work on, I think, because I know I hold a lot of my decisions in, like, especially mistakes over my head, it's like, when it comes to my investments, and it's not necessarily emotional, it's more like my logical brain is like, wow, that was really dumb, you need to do better, so... It's, it's easy, easy to, to not have an emotional, emotional response, response, but it's, it's easy, easy to have an over analytical, analytical response. Like, I think like, everyone, everyone is very, very caught up in, like, like being analytical, analytical and seeing the patterns and seeing, and seeing the trends and, trends and not bringing any emotion into, into it. it. But it's a, it's a, it's a pendulum. pendulum. You can, you swing, can swing too far on either side, side of it. So that's a weird one. That's something I know I need to work on. But, yeah, no, the merge pretty crazy. That's, that's another, another thing, thing that's, that's kind of wild. Nothing, nothing is doing super great, great right now, though. though. Like, like, no, no one's, one's rocketing, rocketing off right now. now. We're, We're still feeling, feeling the bear market, and I think and it's... Personally, personally, I think it's, it's gone, gone on for longer than most, most people expected, expected it to. to. I, think I think a lot, a lot of people, people expected it to be, like, a one-month thing, and suddenly we'd be back up into space, but you can you can never accurately predict that without, without like, like knowing, knowing. Like, like 2020, 2020 vision, vision i'm saying like, like without, without having, having like if it hadn't been, been today we could be like oh could have predicted, predicted it would end today but no we no, can't so, so i think everyone's everyone starting to get a little bit demoralized which is tough but that goes into like the whole stoic thing where i there is nothing that i can do the only thing that i can do is change how i feel if i'm sulking because my investments are down then that does nothing, nothing but harm me and my experiences, because, because at the end of the day, that's all we have. We can only live in this moment, so there's no point in making this moment worse than it needs to be. And I think that that's a message that we need to carry with us 
past just, just our crypto, crypto life, our monetary fiscal life. life. I think I that's think something that, that I need to remind myself of, co- like, like more and more, and more that, that being, being like, like choosing, choosing to be, to be upset, upset or even just, just being upset, upset a lot of the time can take away from, from the moment. moment. And, and it turns, it turns it, from it from something special to something that you, that you want, want to get, get out of. of. And, and we've only got, got so much time, time. and the moment, moment you only have the moment that you're in right, right now. So we do we need to try, try and make the most of it. And I think that's, that's a very, very important, important thing, thing and, and a good, good thing, thing to talk about on a birthday special. So there will be many moments before I see you again. But if you enjoyed this video, it was honestly just a random little spitfire. But if but you enjoyed, enjoyed it, please, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, subscribe to the Emily channel, channel so you'll be notified, notified once, once season two drops. drops. And if you want to see more content from me in between, in between seasons, seasons, you should totally follow me on Twitter at Miss Queen Crypto. I appreciate it a lot. And if you have any suggestions for season two, any things that you think would be great additions, things you want to see change, please, please, please. please DM me or leave a comment on this video because your feedback is super important. I want to make this the best experience it can be for you guys. But thank you so, so much, and I'll see you guys when we get back. Bye!